Hi, this is Kathy Sassiri, author of Robotics Discover the Science and Technology of the Future. And I'm going to show you something really cool that came in the mail today. This is a set called Little Bits. I saw it at Toy Fair in New York in February 2012, and they sent me a sample kit. And I opened it up and played with it, and I'm going to show you today what it does. It's really, really cool. As you can see, it's a pretty simple set. Um, it's actually a bunch of electronic parts. It's got sensors, it's got switches, it's got a battery, it's got a motor, and all of these pieces connect with magnets. So there's no soldering, there's no programming, and it takes about two seconds to get started. I'll show you how it works. We've got a 9 volt battery, a little bit of juice, and a connector for the battery. So that just snaps on like that. And then we've got our microprocessor right here. And that just snaps in like that. Now there's a little tiny on-off switch there. And I'm just going to flip it on. And you can see an LED lights up. Now the next thing you want to connect is one of these pink pieces here. Let's start with the on-off button. This is just an on-off button. And all you have to do to connect it is attach it with the magnets. Now, let's hook it up to something. Let's hook it up to another light. There's an LED light here. And we just attach it like that. And now watch what happens when I press the button. Light goes on. So you've built a circuit in about 15 seconds. Now, the Little Bits starter set comes with instructions, but they're pretty basic. As you can see, they just show you, you take a power source and an output device and hook them up, and that's all you need. If you want, you can also include an input device, which is a switch or a sensor, and there's also a wire, which just you know, hooks things up with wires. So, We've got the little circuit that we started with. What if we want to switch it with something else? Well, we just pull it apart and connect it up in the same order. We could attach a wire if we want to make it longer, just for fun. Let's try the pressure sensor. This is pretty cool. And the neat thing with the magnets is you can't attach it the wrong way, as I was about to do. So we'll attach it the right way. There it goes. and. Let's hook this thing up to this little vibrating motor right here. So here's a little vibrating motor. We're going to attach it. It's not doing anything, but when we push the pressure sensor down, it starts vibrating. And I pick it up and it stops. It vibrates and stops. Now, let's put a different type of output device. We have a, a bar graph here. So you can see there's a number of lights and some numbers, and they will tell you how much pressure is being applied. So watch this. I press it down, and depending on how hard I press it, is how many lights light up. This is about the coolest electronic toy I've seen in a long time. It won a STEMI award from Geek Mom at Toy Fair 2012. It's little bits. The website is littlebits.cc.